The following video presents the guidelines and instructions for the use, care, and maintenance of the KW Guard RF protective suit. RF protective clothing has become an effective and reliable means of compliance with the FCC regulations regarding RF radiation exposure. The implementation of RF clothing is a generally straightforward and simple procedure. But before using your KW Guard RF suit, it's important to understand the basic guidelines which must be followed while using RF protective clothing. First, remember the cardinal rule of RF clothing usage. Know your field. It is imperative that the RF environment in which you will be working is known. The proper use of RF clothing is dependent upon this critical factor. Consult the site or station managers to determine if this data is already available. If it is not available for the areas in which you will be working, then the RF field must be assessed either through measurement using an RF radiation meter or through mathematical analysis. Once the ambient RF field is known, observe whether the measurements are within the levels of maximum permissible RF exposure, or MPE, as specified by the FCC regulations. If the levels are within the specified MPE limits, then RF clothing is not necessary. However, if the measured data is above these limits, then you must consider the factor by which these levels are exceeded and compare them to the maximum ratings of the KW Guard suit. For example, at 100 MHz, the MPE in terms of power density is 1 mW per square centimeter. If the measured field is 6.8 mW per square centimeter, then that is equivalent to a factor of 6.8 or 680% of the MPE. The maximum ratings of KW Guard are specified in terms of the percentage of MPE. This information is provided on the flashcard inside the KW Guard carry bag and is also conveniently located on the left sleeve of the garment. Based on the known power density of the RF field and knowledge of the maximum permissible exposure levels as outlined by the FCC regulations, it can be determined whether the use of KW Guard is necessary and to what extent the suit can be used. If there are any questions regarding the field assessments or guideline definitions, consult the site or station managers for any necessary information and clarification. Once it has been determined that safe operation using KW Guard is possible, keep in mind that while working in a potentially hazardous RF environment to never handle energized conductors, KW Guard is not intended as a means to handle hot antennas or directly contact live structures such as AM antenna towers. Finally, although the carrying of tools is necessary, caution should be taken to properly transport lengths of cable and other metallic elements that could resonate and become re-radiators of potentially hazardous fields. Following all of these essential guidelines while using KW Guard will ensure a safe and effective means to manage a wide variety of tasks on the job. Now, let's take a closer look at the KW Guard suit and all of its components. KW Guard is uniquely constructed from a blend of 75% Nomex and 25% stainless steel microfibers which are woven together to provide a high degree of both comfort and effectiveness. Based on the principle of RF reflection, KW Guard shields the wearer from overexposure to RF energy by reflecting it away from the user, thereby reducing the field inside of the garment. The KW Guard gear comes complete with a field carry bag, which is large enough to accommodate other important items you may wish to transport, such as a hard hat and leather climbing gloves. When storing the gear, remember not to put sharp objects or other items in the bag that may rip or puncture the fabric. 
The carry bag contains four essential components. The coverall, the headgear, the RF gloves, and the RF socks. The KW Guard coverall is fitted with several zipper and Velcro closures, which will be discussed in more detail shortly. Each of these closures is required to be properly fixed to ensure safe and effective operation of the suit. The coverall also has several pockets that are specifically placed on the garment to enable easy access while wearing the tower climbing harness. The KW Guard headgear is designed with a feature that enables it to move as the head turns. To set up this feature, remove the Velcro strip which is attached to the two mating patches inside the headgear. Cut the strip into the appropriate sized shapes and affix them to the outside of the top of your hard hat towards the front. Now, attach the headgear to the coverall using the zipper Velcro mechanism. It's a good idea to first attach the headgear by the zipper and then finish with the Velcro flap. The KW Guard RF gloves are to be worn under standard leather work gloves used in climbing operations. The gloves have long gauntlets which are to be worn underneath the coverall sleeves. The KW Guard socks are to be worn over the outside of your pant legs. While they may be worn directly over bare feet, it is recommended that they are worn over your regular socks. This will extend their life and provide a certain degree of hygiene in case these items are to be shared among co-workers. Johnny. To wear the KW Guard suit, begin by removing your work boots and pulling the socks over your regular socks. Fold your pant legs over to the side and bring the neck of the socks up and over your pant legs to the optimum length on your calves. The KW Guard coverall needs to have surface contact with the socks, so this step is important. You can now put your work boots back on, or if desired, you can do that later. The KW Guard coverall legs are wide enough to accommodate work boots, so you don't have to remove your work boot to put the coverall on or take it off. To put the coverall on, make sure the zipper and Velcro closures at the front of the coverall and at the ankles are entirely open and step into the garment one leg at a time. Bring the coverall up and over your shoulders and zip up the front and close the Velcro. Now, reach down and close the leg opening at each ankle by pulling down on the zippers. Complete the closure by wrapping the Velcro straps around each ankle until the fit is snug. To put on the KW Guard gloves, roll up the coverall sleeves and pull the gauntlets up along your forearms. Roll the coverall sleeves back down over the gloves and wrap the Velcro straps around each wrist until the fit is snug. At this point, review these steps, making sure all of the Velcro and zippers are closed securely. Don't forget that a hard hat must be worn in order to safely use the headgear. And it is especially recommended that you wear the hard hat on which you have applied the Velcro patches so that it will hold the headgear in place while you're working. The headgear is also designed with a system that ensures it will stay in place in high wind conditions. Pull the two straps attached to the front of the coverall through their respective slots in the headgear bib and mate the Velcro straps to hold them in place. You're now ready to climb. Remember to put your leather work gloves on before climbing and be especially careful to observe the operational ratings of the suit under all field conditions. Caring for the KW Guard suit is relatively simple. Before cleaning, make sure all Velcro closures on the garment are securely joined together. This will allow the suit to move about freely without becoming entangled during the process. When washing the garment, 
always use a non-chlorinated laundry detergent. Although machine washing or dry cleaning is acceptable for the coverall, socks, and gloves, the headgear should always be hand washed. When possible, the best approach is to hand wash all the components of the suit and allow them to drip dry. If the KW Guard suit becomes accidentally ripped or torn while you are working, it can be temporarily repaired by using the KW Guard Repair Kit, which is sold separately. The KW Guard Repair Kit contains strips of conductive adhesive material to be used for making temporary repairs, and pre-sized patches of KW Guard fabric and Nomex thread for making permanent repairs. It's a good idea to tuck one of the temporary patches inside a pocket of the coverall before using the suit, so you can be prepared in the event it becomes damaged while on the job. If the KW Guard suit becomes damaged while on the job, an effective temporary repair may be made by applying the adhesive side of a conductive strip to the outside of the tear. Make sure the torn edges of the fabric are well covered by the width of the strip, and then apply the strip firmly and evenly. After completing the work at the site, immediately leave the high RF field area and be sure to have the suit properly repaired with the permanent patches before you use the suit again. To make permanent repairs to the garment, use the pre-cut patches. Follow the instructions that are included with the repair kit or simply bring the damaged suit and the repair kit to the tailor. If damage to the garment is more severe, the suit should be returned to Euclid Garment for proper restoration or replacement. Request a return goods order from Euclid prior to sending the suit back for repair. Euclid manufactures every KW Guard RF suit with a high degree of quality and attention to every detail. Your KW Guard suit provides the greatest amount of comfort and safety available in RF protection. And proper use and care of the suit will provide continued reliable performance. Thank you for choosing KW Guard. KW Guard. RF safety. RF compliance.